An inquest into the fatal shooting of Yasser Yakub on the M62 at Junction 24 in Huddersfield, West Yorkshire on January 2nd, 2017 has heard how the firearms officer who fired the fatal shots must have been mistaken about his account of what happened. 28-year-old Yakub was in the front seat passenger of one of two cars travelling along the motorway when police boxed them in. The inquest previously heard how Officer V39, used to protect his identity, leaned out of his car window and fired three shots at Mr Yagab from one and a half metres away, with two of the bullets hitting him in the chest, causing catastrophic blood loss. V39 told the hearing this week that after the stop, Mr Yakub ignored his commands to show me your hands and instead crouched down before bringing a handgun over the car's dashboard. He said he had feared for his life and had no alternative but to shoot Mr Yakub. However, on Thursday, V39 was cross-examined by Michael Mansfield Casey, representing Mr Yakub's family. Mansfield said, it's quite clear if someone is bent down, crouches and leans towards his right if that's what he did, he is going below the mound on the dashboard. There's quite a bit of cover there, isn't there? If he was in that position, he wouldn't have received the wounds. He did, would he? Are you mistaken at all about your position and his? V39 replied, no sir. At the time of the cross-examination, the jury was shown photos of the bullet holes in the windscreen and of a forensic officer sitting upright in the passenger seat of the Audi. Mr Mansfield said, you can see here the penetrative holes are imaged on this particular person's clothing and the trajectory of his arms raised. V39 said, he cannot recall it like that. Mansfield asked, he wasn't crouched down when you fired your weapon, was he? V39 replied, I think he was, sir. Mansfield said he was in an upright position in his seat when he received the injuries. V39 said, no sir. Jakob was described in police intelligence as a highly active criminal and uh, an operation called Operation Philview was set up in October 2016 in response to intelligence showing he and another man had been making threats to a man called Yasser Adalat. Now clearly I don't condone firearms offences even if the threat of firearm is bad enough and had the police actually had a handgun pointed at him I could understand the fear. But this is where the UK and USA differ. I've seen many, many video examples of police in the USA having a gun pointed at them and still not firing their own weapon, only to open fire when they are fired upon or there is actual threat to lives of the public. But the UK firearms police seem to be, in many cases, wet wipes and shoot before there's a need to. Granted, not all of them. There have been some firearms incidents which have been dealt with exactly as I would expect, but far too many are dealt with by the officers' arse falling out them firing and then months or even years of police trying to cover their asses and explain their way out of it. This is an ongoing inquest with no doubt more information to come to light which we will obviously keep an eye on and report here on the channel.